the next spirit to pray for, is, which is part of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom. Wow. Spirit of wisdom must be praying for the Holy Spirit. Every day. Every day. There are some problems you can't go with power out of it. You have to go out of it with wisdom. Hmm. Almost every animal can be captured if you are wiser than it. Including very strong animals. Every animal can be. That's why a man has captured every animal put in cages. That means that there is every demon, eh? every demonic work. Because the demons are animals. They are spiritual animals and clean spirits. There's not even one that you cannot do him, Sulia. Do you know Sulia? Do you have Sulia in Nigeria? Abudi? Bodhi? It's called what? Kitchen. Chibobo. Chibobo. There's a name for that in every, in every language. Yes. Chibobo. Force is not going to overcome every problem. But through wisdom. You know, anytime I have a problem, my, actually my first thought is, what must I do, can I do, that will overcome it? Yes. I feel that there's something I can do. Like God can give me the wisdom on this thing and I will know what to do. Are you there? Wow. Amazing. So I don't know what, what situation you are in. Let's say, oh, you got a church. It has only 10 members, 20 members. How can it grow? Huh? What are you going to do? Pray for the spirit of wisdom. Pray for the spirit of wisdom. Church to grow. Church can grow. Money not coming. Money can come. Overcoming parents' issues can happen. No baby, baby can come. Marriage problems. You'll be surprised. Only this section of the Holy Spirit can solve most of the issues. You see, Ecclesiastes 7, verse 19, I believe. It says, yeah, wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than ten mighty men strengthen a city. So wisdom strengtheneth a man. Strengthens you, wisdom strengthens you more than ten mighty men strengthen a city. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So wisdom makes you like more than 10 power. You see, 10 forces. Wow. AK 47 guns, grenade, 10 rambles. Wow. Just wisdom can make you Rambo, James Bond, Transporter, Transporter um, Chuck Norris, Batman. Batman. Jet Li, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Van Damme. Have we got 10? And Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wisdom can neutralize 10 mighty men. 10 mighty men. Wisdom, just thinking. And God's wisdom can neutralize all these guys. Hey! So 
so that's why you know everything by prayer Amen. go into prayer Amen. and pray for it Amen. the bible says if anyone lacks wisdom james 1 3 it says if anyone lacks wisdom let the four james 1 i think verse 4 if anyone lacks wisdom let him ask verse 5 yes if you lack wisdom let him ask so wisdom is something that we can ask for what is weakening you what is weakening you how many have some problems that are some way everything by prayer nothing without prayer go into the spirit and start father i'm here today about the spirit of wisdom wisdom strengthened the wise more than 10 mighty men 10 rambles 10 Jackie Chans Justina wisdom will make you stronger than 10 mighty opportunities huh to make yourself beautiful Yes. Ten beauty therapies. Ten Brazilian hairs. Ten perfumes. Ten high heels. Ten nails. All these things that are making you stronger as a woman. Think that you are attracting men. Wisdom. Sometimes you see somebody that you, you, nobody is proposing to you. One word of wisdom can make somebody propose to you. <laughs> One day a sister came to see the pastor. She just had a word of wisdom. And the word of wisdom was very simple. Go and tell the pastor to help me to have a husband. Wow. Yes, that was the word that she had. Wow. So she went and said, the pastor, pastor, I need to have, I want to marry. Help me to choose somebody. Get, can you get somebody for me? No. Can you help me to get a beloved? That was it. That was it. The spirit of wisdom. But she could have gone to do her hair. She could have shaken the bottom of the bag. She could have increased the size of her breast. She could have joined the choir for people to see her singing. She could have joined the dancing stars so that she could shake the bottles all over the place. She could have become a soloist. But the word of wisdom that came was go and talk to a pastor. Pastor, I need a beloved. Please help me to get a beloved. Choose somebody for me. Do something for me. And the pastor was moved. And he said, I will help you. That was the end. How was it? Wisdom strengthened the wise more than 10 mighty men in the city. Yeah. Yeah. So I need you to be praying. Oh, Ramashanda. Like, this is your prayer. It's nine o'clock. You say, Father, I pray for the spirit of wisdom. In Jesus' name. Lord, I don't know what else to say. Ten o'clock. Father, thank you for the spirit of wisdom. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Pray for the spirit of wisdom from nine o'clock to ten o'clock. Thank you. 
Your mind will be changed. You watch and say, people will start asking, so, how do these things occur to you? Where do you get these ideas from? You know, with our different denominations, we are really blessed because you see, if this was homecoming, what we used to call homecoming, yeah. you see that people from Dakar, people from, because we have a lot of church members in Senegal, in people from Guinea. We have a large church in Guinea. Even the ambassador goes to the church there. We have, I mean, churches in uh, Congo, Brazzaville, large church in Congo, Brazzaville, Congo, this. We will not even see them. We will not know who they are. Yeah, we have older people, we have French people, we have Portuguese speaking people. Everybody is mixed up. You can't see the people. And the young people are also different from the old. Some of the old people, when you even give certain examples, pornography and so on, they just sit down and sit down. When will this man finish talking about this, this topic? It's as if the preaching is, I mean, it's not, I mean, it's below. Your mouth like is below. Meanwhile, they are watching it in the houses. They are watching it in the houses. <laughs> oh, now they're grown up, but he's watching it now. But God gave us the wisdom. Do this, do this, do this, do this. We are moving. United denominations. It's working. God is about to pour his wisdom on you to do your work, to do your ministry, to do your school, to do your marriage, to do everything you have to do. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. Spirit of wisdom. Spirit of wisdom. Spirit of wisdom. Yes. Never be tired of praying of the spirit of wisdom. Ask for the spirit of wisdom there. They will call for you. Amen. They will say, there is a man in thy kingdom. Hey! There's a man in your kingdom. Yes. Daniel 5, 11. There's a man. There's a man. There's a man. That man. In whom is the spirit of the Holy Ghost. They will call for you. They, they call for me in the Philippines. They've asked, me, they've asked me to come. It's not cheap for them to invite me to come there. It's not cheap at all. It's from West Africa. Yeah. And in many places, call for me. Yes. I was invited to Trinidad. I told them the pastors, com pastors conference of the, their whole denomination. I just told them it, it, it's coinciding with I can't come. It's not coinciding, but I can't. It's too tight. I can't make it. Mm. But if it was you, yeah. you would have made it, Papa. Yeah. You'd have made it, Papa. Yeah. <laughs> no problem at all. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. But soon the spirit of wisdom is going to be upon you. And I tell you, they'll be calling for you everywhere. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Do you believe it? I believe it. Somebody is going to call you and tell you, you are my favorite preacher. They will, they will tell you, you are my favorite preacher. Yesterday, somebody told me, you are my favorite preacher. And I, I was so touched. You hear such words. Amen. So, you are my favorite preacher. Ah. It means that when you speak and you talk, I, I, I enjoy it. You are going to hear nicer things in Jesus' name. There is a man in thy kingdom in whom is the spirit of the Holy God. And in the days of thy father, light and understanding and wisdom even like unto the wisdom of the gods was found in him
they will be calling for you. Amen. So there is a man in Kenya. Hey. There's a man in Mozambique. Hey. There's a man in Zimbabwe. Hey. There's a man in Zambia. Hey. There's a man in Ghana. Hey. There's a man in London. Hey. There is a man somewhere. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So, don't go out there with natural force. Yes, wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than ten mighty men in the city. More. More. You are wilder. You are wilder because of your wisdom. Yeah. Pray. No, what should I do? What's your wisdom? What's your guidance? What shall I do? What shall I say? God will do it. Now, I'm talking about the prayers of Jesus. And I'm, I'm still on the first one about how Jesus asked to pray for the Holy Spirit. Yes. And I'm showing you about the prayers for the Holy Spirit. Why it's so amazing. Now, in Isaiah 11 verse 2, we see the next or the third spirit of understanding. Pray for the spirit of understanding. 